In this session, we're going to have a look at how to use the basics on the main screen of CRM Haven. Okay, now I've launched Office Haven here, which has got all the modules all in the one application, but you could use CRM Haven, the single application module, on its own if you wanted to. Now I'm logging in as demo just so that there's a whole lot of data there that we can use to um, uh, to have a look at. When I connect in, Twithaven automatically launches, telling me that there's some messages. Which, you have three messages. Which I will just shrink that down out of the way. And you can see here in the middle is the module for CRM Haven. If I click on that, then the menu shrinks itself down and we now have CRM Haven running. Now the design of CRM Haven is supposed to be familiar uh, for all of those of us who have used a spreadsheet. So you can see here the information is in cells with different uh, headings across the top uh, and different scroll bars going le from left to right and, uh, and top to bottom. Uh, if you don't need a lot of the uh, items on the screen, you're just doing a lot of data entry, you can click on this little triangle up in the corner and that will now make the spreadsheet side of the information uh, cover the whole screen, which may be easier for you. Uh, if you want to take it even further, you can click the um, uh, zoom box up in the corner, and now we have a whole screen, essentially like a spreadsheet, to work on. Now let me just shrink that back down again, back to where you might be familiar with when you first connect in. You'll notice that we have down the bottom here, it says we have 78 clients, uh, one of which is selected, zero is marked and there are a total of 78 quick contacts. Now when you first come into CRM Haven you will you may well have thousands of contacts but only a certain number of them will be quick contacts. Quick contacts are ones which show when you first connect in so that if you have um, you know, 20, 50, 100 contacts who you need to access all the time make sure you, you check their box for quick contact and they will launch uh, and show automatically whenever CRM Haven is launched. There are a few more things that you can do in here. You can, for example, you can click on the heading of a uh, of one of the uh, columns, and it'll now sort according to that particular column. Uh, you can um, change the size. So if, if you weren't sure about the uh, the width, if it, if it wasn't holding all the information you needed, you can change the widths of the cells. Um, the other thing you can do is you can go in and uh, and edit the particular information. So let me come back up the top here. If we want to go into one of the users, say for example this one down here, if I double click on that particular uh, row, it will now load up the data for that particular user. So you can see it getting the information from the server now. Uh, it re retrieves that information and displays it for us, ready for us to, um, uh, to, to edit uh, on screen. So I'll just wait for that to appear. Uh, so this is just editing one particular record, but you get every single field of that one record to edit. So in this case, you can see we have uh, you know, the, the person Tom Hanks, and uh, we have lots of different pop-up menus to choose the different data from. Now, a lot of these pop-up fields you have the ability to customize. We'll get into that in, in, an, uh, in another session, but the main thing is to show you that you can go and double-click on a cell to edit it. You can also inline edit. Uh, when we come over certain fields, you'll see the cursor turns from an arrow into the um, uh, like the, the, the text cursor. That means that that field is actually able to be uh, edited. So if I click on there, I can now change that to if he's got a, a London address, that sort of thing. Now as soon as I uh, hit return or move to another cell, that actually writes that information up to, to the server. So that, that information has now changed on the server. Other fields are, are not able to be uh, entered at this level. The reason is that they are uh, only accept certain fixed values, like the country only accepts um, uh, the the uh, a limited choice from the pop-up menu. So when you go into edit the uh, text, then you'll be given the list of choices. Other ones like this client name can't be edited, be edited because it, it automatically gets formulated based upon the salutation, extension, first name and last name. So that's essentially a calculated field. But other ones you can, you can there's no reason why you can't go in and edit. You can change those values to whatever you want. 
and as soon as you click away or hit return it actually writes that change to the server okay now there are a lot more elements on the screen you can see up here uh, drill down that's for quickly uh, finding information somewhere in the data of the currently viewed um, cells we have deduplication uh, down here we have uh, uh, quick reports that you can pop up you also have the ability to find your data uh, uh, singly or um, uh, by looking uh, in find detail into particular fields you have limitations as to what uh, uh, what information uh, appears, what particular groups and how many appear and that sort of thing. We'll go into those in another session. Uh, down the bottom here you can see where we have the ability to quick and unquick cells. So for example in the list here normally when I click it only shows one uh, row as being highlighted. If I hold down the shift key and click another row it highlights all of the ones in between. If I hold down the command key or the control key on the PC we can uh, uh, add or remove other individual cells. The reason why that's useful is that you can come down here and then mark or quick or unmark and unquick uh, particular cells. So if I wanted to take them away from being um, uh, uh, quick contacts, I can unquick them and you can see it's automatically done that there. I'll turn them back on again. Okay, later on uh, we'll have a look at what these up other options are down the bottom here. Uh, refresh just refreshes the information on the screen. If you've been away for a while, uh, your screen won't update in case others have done updates. You can quickly come along and go refresh and it'll just do the last search that you are, you are currently working on. Uh, the things under options here are relevant uh, are, is information uh, or uh, actions that are possible at all times. Doesn't matter what's uh, highlighted. The uh, actions uh, button down here only affects the marked cell. So if I, for example, mark uh, a particular uh, client, then you'll see this now becomes available, and there are some of the things that we can go into uh, uh, perform on the marked cells, which we'll go into in, in another session. So they're the basics on how to launch and use the main window of CRM Haven. I hope you found that useful and uh, hopefully you'll uh, check out some of the other modules as well. Okay, thanks a lot. Bye.